we're talking about a homicide rate, a crime rate that is through the roof. But my resident said yesterday, my kids finally have something to do. Metro Councilwoman Keisha Dorsey says the Algonquin Park pool is more than a safe space for District 3 residents. So when the pool was suddenly closed Sunday, she and her team immediately took action. The first was a phone call to Louisville's Chief of Community Building, Vincent James. He committed to one, making sure that the pool would be open as stated to that they would send the outreach workers to this community to make sure that people understood when the pool was open and that we would be providing consistency. Metro Parks and Recreation cited an unlawful and unsafe number of lifeguards as the reason for the closure. They say in part, quote, securing lifeguards for the summer swim season has been a challenge for a number of aquatic facilities and they'll work to secure more. We've got a list of kids that are 16, 17, 18 years old who want a lifeguard. So it, again, it's just communication. And on Tuesday, Dorsey's team used door knocking as another effective form of reaching residents to get solution-based feedback on the Algonquin Park pool. I just don't understand how they can get stuff greater than us, you know, because we still have kids too. Shively resident Barbara Jones is referencing the difference in amenities between Louisville's three public pools. It's another area of equity in the city's aquatic facilities that Councilwoman Dorsey is pushing. Can we get chairs? Can we get benches? Can we get some shade and umbrellas? Dorsey says she wants three specific things to come out of this incident. Consistency, communication, and eventually a new upgraded pool for the park. There's so much potential. We have to have a vision for the city, a vision of equity. We have to do more than what we're doing. And it starts here.